the set. I drove around the city. Every road driver hired at my terminal goes through the same training. It's one week of just education. You learn about the company, you learn how the company does things, so on and so forth. Safety, real big on safety here at FedEx. The second thing you do the second week is basically like today I got my badge. I should be getting my uniforms in the mail sometime this week because I ordered them last week. And so I got my badge to get in and out of the facility. I got, you know, keys to the trucks, uh, keys to the trailers because I have a lock on every single trailer. The reason, and I told you guys this in the last video, the reason they want me and everybody at my terminal to learn how to work the dock is because a couple of reasons. Number one, if you're on the extra board and they don't have any extra freight for you to run, then you have the option to come in and work the dock for eight hours that night. Or if you're on a smaller run, like the, we only have two places that we go that requires dock work everywhere else is optional or not required. So those, two, if you go to one of those two places, you'll have to work the dock for a few hours. So they really want to make sure you know how to work the dock. And that, that's it. It's not like I got hired and now I got to work the dock for a year before I can drive a truck. No, it's not like that. So I know, I know some of you guys must be thinking that because of some of the comments that I've seen in, in the last video, but it's not like that at FedEx. They're not gonna hire you in and say, okay, now you're a dock worker for seven years. No, it's not, not like that. And something's going on right here. I had to come home a different way because I had to go to a different town and do something, take care of business. And now I'm on my way home, <laughs> I run into this. I don't know what's going on up here. They must have a flagman up here or something. I didn't see any signs warning me of this, but okay, no problem. It's what it's like to live out in the country sometimes, man. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I worked the dock all week. I got pretty proficient with that. There may be a couple of things here and there I'm, I may need help with later on until I pick up some stuff, but it's, it's mostly computer stuff. That It's not on the forklift, it's the computer by the door if I have to base something, I mean, but, uh, you know, again, a supervisor, at least in Little Rock, are more than willing to help you if you need help. M most of the time, it seems that way. And Monday, I'm going to be out with a driver. I got to show up at 7 a.m. and run out with a, uh, a road driver. So we're going to be doing a run during the daylight hours, which is okay. You know, I'm not going to lie. I've been running nights for so long that, you know, showing up to work at 6 in the morning that I've been showing up the last couple of weeks has been really tough, man. <laughs> it's been really hard for me. And I've been doing, um, I've been, you know, I've been going to sleep okay, but it's just waking up that early. And I got off my diet as well, so... I mean, nothing's open. Subway's not open at 5 a.m., you know? <laughs> I'm a Subway guy. I go to Subway all the time. But anyway, that's what I've been doing all week. And once I get a routine of what I'm doing every day, I'll be, you know, giving you more, more like three videos a week like I've been doing. But I've been doing one video a week these past couple of weeks because I haven't really been doing anything. You know, I've been with either doc training or sitting in a classroom or, or a break room doing computer stuff uh, last week and then this week and a couple of days last week it was just all on the dock so that's it man but other than that it's pretty easy I'm a little bit more proficient with the forklift now than I was when I first started like I said the computer stuff on the forklift isn't hard to do at all it is just I don't know why I'm still sitting here waiting I guess I'm going to find out pretty soon what's going on but that's it, man. The first two weeks was super easy. You do little to nothing. I did do a road test the other day. I think that was Monday or Tuesday. And that was easy. You know, I just went out with one of the uh, instructors. And I, again, did like a little pre-trip. Hooked the set. I did a road test. Drove where he wanted me to drive. I don't know. All in all, it took like an hour. Maybe less. 45 minutes, maybe. And then I was back in the yard, went back in there, and he said, okay, you're good. 
road test was easy. You know, if you've been driving, pulling doubles for a while, and then, you know, you go somewhere, you don't drive for a week, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, hey, we want you to do a road test, and we want to make sure you know how to hook a set, make sure you know how to drive, how to control this in different environments. Um, that's basically what that was about, and it was super easy. It was like riding a bike, you know. You get off of it for a week, you get back on it, no problem. So that was easy. Now, from what I understand, next week on the next Monday when I'm with the driver, I think I'm going to be paid hourly the entire trip, which I don't think it's going to be a, a very hard trip. I think it's going to be like a 8 or 10 hour day or something like that. So, but still, you know, it's pretty good money. Uh, 30 bucks an hour. So, you know, it's not bad until I start I guess Tuesday I don't know if I'm going to ride with them all week or just Monday I guess I'll find that out next week <laughs> but you know I only spent a week on the dock and the dock trainer seems to have a lot of confidence in me just doing it on my own so that's what's going to happen there and next week guys I should be either riding with an instructor or doing something else on my own I don't know I'll let you know as soon as I know all right thanks for watching thanks for following along i'll be back to normal uh you know uploading videos like i normally did before i'll be back to that at some point very soon and as you can see this big open field over here i, I love living out here in the country man but i need to live a little bit closer to work that's all i can say it takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to get to work to get home uh, but no big deal because it seems like most of the runs especially the ones that are available to the new hires not the new hires per se but one of the first bid runs that we're going to get as a new road driver at fedex freight typically is an eight to ten hour day and doesn't seem like it's going to be that bad i can do a 10 hour shift and uh you know drive this every day it won't be a problem so this is great man but you guys want to know about the company, man. The company's great so far. I haven't. The only complaints that I've noticed are maybe, maybe some dock workers that have been there for a while. You know, they they might be a little grumpy. <laughs> you know, about certain things. I don't I don't know what goes on in their daily lives. You know, so some of them, they, uh, you know, they get fed up with working the dock and they go through the DDI which is the driver development course and doctor driver program we call it ddi and that's what they do um and so that's it man thanks for uh, coming along with me these past couple of weeks learning about fedex freight that's my new company so far so good i still don't have uniforms to wear which i meant to check today before i left but but no big deal hopefully they'll be in monday i don't know when they're going to come in uh, I know one of the items that I ordered wasn't going to be available until the 19th of May. So maybe that's the day they shipped it out. I think they're trying to ship it all out at once. And that was it. But um, everything else, man, it's just, it's been easy. You know, it, just like my trainer's been telling me, as long as you can come to work and do your job, no one's ever, you're never going to have a problem. Just do your job, do it the way it's supposed to be done. And they are big on safety. So their motto is safety above all. So as long as you're a safe driver, I don't think you're going to have any uh, problems. <laughs> and so far, everyone that I've, in, you know, interacted with, at least at my terminal, has been really nice to me. I haven't had any problems with anybody. So... So far, so good, guys. I'm still liking it. <laughs> I guess we'll see how it is when I'm driving, because that's really what my job is. So we'll find that out next week. And until then, y'all be careful. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. And uh, see you next week.